Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is a five-minute burst of FTL. We've got a boarding party. They're running out of oxygen. We should probably make sure that everyone else dies. I've made sure my guns aren't shooting any of my friendlies, but let's just target their um, shields and there. Let's get our boarding party out of this room that doesn't have any oxygen in it and hopefully help them with killing of other people. No, nope, just stay in there and kill this guy. Let's wait just a little bit longer. Now you can get out of here. Combat drone power off, because you're just going to be doing damage to the guys at the moment. That off, that off. You work on killing their oxygen supplies. You get back into there and heal up. Fortunately, right now, they are so badly hurt um, that they can't actually risk... The AI won't send them into the um, where the hull breach is, because they'll die. Um, so it won't actually send them in there. So we're now reasonably safe to mind control him and cause another fight. Oh, beautiful. If he kills him, the explosion, yeah, will do everything I wanted it to. So, you guys, get into there and take that ship. Another trick you can do, which you may have just noticed, is that you can, if you're feeling particularly sneaky, possess a crew member. He then becomes your crew, which means you can then teleport him onto your ship. Which means he can't can't then heal later. They don't have a teleport ship to get him back off again. So you can kidnap crew members one at a time and slaughter them at your own leisure. We're going shopping. 233, I'm not risking the rebels overrunning this shop. What have we got? What have we got? Burst laser 3, another <laughs> pair of chain ions. Well, that would certainly make life interesting. Um, we could do plenty of work with that. Uh, Ion intruder, don't enter. there's nothing we want on that page. Let's get our crew backed up. So let's have a look. Let's make this the rest of this episode shopping and then we'll probably call it for the day. Um, basic heavy laser, power required one, power required four. Uh, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to afford to get that. I mean, a barrage of five normal damage one versus our hull laser, normal damage one, shots per charge two, power required two. Would I be able to ever get up to the point where I could fire it, so I'd need two more. So that would be a hundred and... or many. That would be many. It'd be many, many, which would be when you add in the fact the costing cost. So yeah, I need about... I, I need well over 250 before I could afford a lot of them. So... I really wanted another gun that was a missile-based one. A single-powered missile-based weapon would be really quite nice right now. That extra little bit of punch. Since one's not coming up, and we've got a half decent amount of fuel and other supplies, I think what we'll be doing right now is investing in our ship itself. So let's go to the ship, and these ones are quite nice because we can just drop them in um, willy-nilly uh, for free. We do have enough to put go up to level 4 shields, and then we're only looking for 60 for power. Uh, that's probably going to be a reasonably worthwhile investment. We're not looking for extra guns right now. We don't need extra health. Faster turnaround on teleport wouldn't be too bad. Um, more mind control would also be kind of amusing, but without the extra... It's basically, do we put everything on shields and then get more things later and then risk of getting extra bits and pieces later? Hopefully we'll get 60 scrap we need for the power for it. Or do we look at increasing our capability of causing damage amongst the enemy? Hmm... I quite like the idea of doing that, so we can get our crews back and forth faster and do more damage with our teleport team. I also quite like the idea of putting an extra point in here, so we can maybe deploy anti the anti-drone. Because well, I'm thinking about what happens when we get around to the final fight. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to probably take another point in power. Because now I've got enough power to keep everything, to some degree or shape or form, running much, much happier. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. The next episode, we will be finding out what's next, which will probably, in this case, be running away. Um, there is another store to the south of us where I will probably find... No, let's, let's, let's go and find out now. Let's find out what we could have bought if I'd been more patient and gone and checked before buying. What do we have? A load of things I didn't want, a load of things I didn't want. Did you have a missile weapon? Basic iron blast would have been nice. Charged laser, but there's... Yeah, all right, missile requiring three. So potentially we could have stuck that in and swapped it in and out with the chain laser. The ion blast, another bit of, yeah, extra ion blast just firing all the time could have been interesting. So I, overall, I'm reasonably happy I made the right choice. I've been the Marmoset. 
I choose correctly occasionally. You, go and fix this while I'm talking. This has been a 5-Minute Burst of FDL. Please remember to like and subscribe.